Hey guys, I'm Rebecca. You have a chance to win this DJI FPV drone, the case, and two batteries. We're gonna choose one of the next 100,000 subscribers to be our lucky winner. So please subscribe, good luck, and happy FPV. Today we're gonna check out the OPS or OOPS or however you say that power station. It's a 1300 watt power station with a 992 watt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. This is rated at 2500 cycles up to around 80%. The weight I weighed in is about 24.4 pounds. It has a built-in cooling fan and I tested it around 55 decibels. And this is one of my mid-range, mid-size power stations that can be charged one of three ways. It can be charged with the AC power cable up to about six hours. It can be charged with the eight millimeter plug on the front with DC power input around 10 to 12 hours. And one of my favorite ways to charge is solar panels. I recommend two 100 watt panels or a single 200 watt panel, but it doesn't come with an MC4 adapter to eight millimeter. So you'll have to purchase that separately. And with two 100 watt solar panels, you'll take around six to eight hours to get a full charge on this battery. Now this guy is like $50 off right now. It was $750 and now it's $699. Now what's interesting to me, this company has kind of hit me from left field and oops or alps or however you say that it looks like a mashup of around the three top companies it has a jackery style case it has an lfp interface of a blue yeti and it has a display screen of the popular super popular ecoflow displays so uh, it is kind of a hybrid child of all three companies but at the end of the day it is way cheaper than anything that rei or cabelas has uh, for a thousand watt you're just not going to find anything under a thousand dollars for it seems like a thousand watt power station and for me for what i do i require at least a thousand watts or better because i want to be able to run a coffee pot and my mercedes sprinter or i want to be able to charge my lipo batteries in the field it does have 12 volt outputs one cigarette lighter plug and two 55 25 barrel plug outlets all three combined they can output at about 10 amps now on the lower portion of the 12 volt panel side we have two usb a quick charge ports one usb c 60 watt output port and one usb c 18 watt power output port those are mono directional that means you can't charge the battery with these ports it's output only left hand side we have the ac power port outputs for 120 volt and those are three up right there you can run a two or three prong setup and it looks like we have about 750 watt hours of 992 watt hours at 76 percent usage and for the dc capacity test of those outputs we were able to get 750 watt hours of 292 watt hours or basically 70 percent six percent of this battery and that's due to the regulatory circuit inside this battery at 12 volt regulation so it cuts itself off at 76 percent which is kind of a bummer you don't get the full 100 percent charge output but they do do this to protect the battery inside the ops battery bank now, like I mentioned before, you can run a power tool on this guy, but it's going to have kind of a, a regulation inside there as well for voltage protection, and it's going to turn itself off at about 1600 watts running a power tool. So if you get over, say, around 1500 watt, it'll go into a power safe mode and it will turn itself off running a power tool. But I was able to run a power tool for about five minutes at 1200 watt safely without it cutting off. And when I reached around 1400 watt, it only lasted a few seconds before it turned itself off. Now this power station does have pass-through charging which I think is pretty cool. You can charge this battery and you can charge other devices at the same time which is pretty cool. Yes it can do that but it charges at 187 watts and the fan kicks on when you plug it in. It's not super loud like I said it's, it's kind of quieter than some of my other power banks. Now, if you guys are looking for a power bank right now, there's one thing you have to know about this one versus some of the other ones out there. This one has um, kind of an outdated output for the USB-C ports. Those are only rated to 60 watt, and most of them out there right now, the modern equivalent is at 100 watt. So you're going to be charging your devices a little bit slower than you would on a more modern power bank. But then again, even though you're going to be charging at a slower rate, it is about $400 cheaper than anything in REI and Cabela's or anything Jackery makes at around a thousand watt battery. So, I mean, if we want to talk about the pros and cons of this battery station, I mean, for me, what I tested, like regulation circuitry, cutting it down, um, knocks about 10% off the battery capacity when you're using the 12 volt ports. And the, the fact that it only has a 60 watt output on the 12 volt side of things, and, and that to me is it's a little bit outdated for a hundred watt 
normal output on most of the newer power banks. So um, I think if you can kind of uh, discount that for the cheaper price, you're probably going to be okay with this charger if you're looking for a cheaper charger than what you're going to buy in Cabela's and REI. You know, so for me, I think the the biggest takeaway from this power bank, I, I'm an RC guy, I'm a drone guy, I have a van, and for me, this will do all the things that I need it to do. Um, this is a mid-sized power station. I can charge my LiPo batteries, my laptop. I can run a coffee pot on the road. Um, I, I could even I could even run my you know you're not going to you're not going to run a refrigerator. Um, you can run a mini fridge with this, but you're not going to run like a full-size refrigerator. I have another one made by Energizer that's around a 2,000 watt plus type of battery and that was like basically like a small gas powered type um, generator that will, will run appliances um, this will not run large appliances but it will run something like a coffee pot so uh, it's acceptable to me for 6.99 it's it's kind of a crazy price for something that's over a thousand watts so uh, if you're brand new to kind of what power banks are all about the smaller ones are you know 100 watt to, to 500 watt the mid-range ones are 1000 watt and then the largest ones out there um in, in the 1000 well in the 1500 dollar to 2000 dollar price range are 2000 watts so um with 2000 watt you can run actually a full-size refrigerator uh, for about 24 hours it's kind of crazy um, i have a review coming up for that one on the channel so if you're interested in external power banks you know and stations and solar stuff stay tuned because we're going to do some cool stuff on the channel but this one's a, a cost uh, effect it's a great price it's 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 a, a cheap one it's it's not the most expensive out there and it's accessible for guys at a thousand watts is 1200 watts is great so um, pick one at the up at the link below if you want to check out the oops uh, i did it again power station uh, i'm justin davis guys take care and i'll see you on the next one